Welcome back, everybody. My name is Kaz. And uh, I'm Rosello. And this is Way of the Samurai. And I think we'll start off today with uh, one of the tutorials. Huh. Yeah, because you unlock these tutorials as you play through the game. Interesting. Let me, let me show you where that gets kept track of. You can go to record, and this is my progress. I've killed 68 people. Good job. Hmm. The ending diagram fills in as you complete the game's various endings. There are only six. When you get all six, a little sword diagram is, is filled in. So I have uh, gotten the endings of Beast King once, Inexperienced once, and Samurai Apprentice twice. Hmm. hmm. The titles on the left there are like regular ones, and the ones on the right are special titles. So Beast King is special. There, there are a lot more than, than six boxes. Hmm, what do you mean? There are the... Right, but those aren't for endings. Those are the different okay, rankings okay. that you can achieve. The ending is the, the sword thing. Ah. The bottom there. So there are just two out of out of an amount that theoretically we wouldn't know, but you know it's six. I know it's six. Yeah, you know yeah. it's six. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. tutorials. When you get graded at the end, they give you points, and points unlock things like Lesson 2. This one is a little video. So we've seen this a bunch. You usually start out with weak attacks so that you don't build up heat on your sword. This is some rockin' music, though. It's the fight music. We're gonna hear quite a bit of it. Yeah. Here. I, I was promised fight music, and I don't think you delivered. What? Oh, well, I'll, I guess we'll have, we'll have more of that Okay. In this, uh, in this one. I'll, I'll try. Okay. But yeah, so they're we talking about they're, they're talking about pushing and pulling. Mm -hmm. So you shove, but if he's attacking and you both push, then the attacker wins. That's what that's about. And if you push in the middle of a combo, he gets the combo. And this is about, you know, when you're shoved off balance, you can get out of the way. There are straight out and long moves, and close in and wide moves. So you can either duck backwards or go to the side. If you're doing a long move, then you want to go to the side. If you're doing a wide move, then you want to duck back. That's what this is all about. Uh, unfortunately, that's not something you really have time to predict. Or rather, not something you have time to react to. So it is something that you have to try and predict. As far as I know, it's a coin toss, but, you know, a lot of a lot of these AIs and different characters have moves that they like to do, so you can kind of work off of that. Oh, yeah, and good luck getting out of the way of anything if you're crammed up in tight quarters. Counter-attacking out of that is really tough. But man, does it look cool. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. One of the deceptive parts about this is that you don't always have... Oh, this is their... Now they're talking about pulling. The deceptive part of the what you see here is that you don't always have the move that launches them. You have to level up into that. <laughs> Yeah, that's the pair. It's just a little tilt. I love how it's anime. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> the stumbling is also really cool looking. They're like, whoa! But yeah, after spending a little time against specific characters, you learn whether or not they like to push or pull, the kinds of moves that they like to do, and you can end up throwing them around. You learn to fight the opponent rather than like a gen general generic kind of opponent. And frankly, it's been long enough for me against some of these people that I won't remember. And I'm probably going to take a beating 
re-remembering or learning. So yeah, same basic rules. Um, if both people parry, it's kind of neutral, where if both people push, you lose, or the attacker wins. So yeah, and that's really important stuff to understand if you're going to win fights. Of course, you could also intentionally not get into fights. I think we're still going on easy... Let me take a look at my swords. <laughs> I'm gonna duck into a little difficulty. Select weapons. The one that you start equipped with is, of course, the generic sword. This is the one that we worked on a little. And I've collected some other swords that we can talk about later a little. Uh, man, maybe I'll take Chugan here. That looks like a pretty good sword. See if I've unlocked anything. I basically did not. So this would be another starter sword. It would be like better than the starter sword, just a little. So I think we're going to back out and do this on easy difficulty. You will get beaten. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm pretty good at this game, but it's been a long time, and you know I I worry. So yeah, we're gonna take Chugan with us. And you're, you're unequipping the other sword so that if, if the worst were to happen, we don't lose it, right? Well, I'm unequipping the default sword, mm -hmm. because if I keep it with me, then eventually, like, the sword inventory is just going to be full of these things. Mm -hmm. And I don't need another basic, unupgraded, neutral sword, because they always give you that. I see. So, yeah. I wanted to take as little with me as I can get away with, so that I can collect things on my way. <laughs> Yeah, name samurai ebooks. I'm gonna load out with the fancy blue. It is very pretty. We are in that. Yes, that's that's one of the unlocks. And you can see the hair wave a little bit as we move. It's very subtle. I like it. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. That was one of the reasons I like this head. Mmm. The mm. hair is really pretty. Yeah, you know, eventually I'm gonna have to switch to a different head. Mm. Maybe not this one, but. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll have we'll have some other heads as well. You can see three other spaces for for head unlocks. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think we'll stick with emo samurai for now. Yeah. The youngish shonen guy. Shonen guy. All right. <laughs> so last time we got the Akadama clan ending. It didn't turn out so well. Right. They're not strong enough to fight the government alone. It's almost like they would need help or something. Yes. But, what if someone else didn't need help? We're gonna ignore that little encounter, I think. <laughs> oh, we are so pretty. I love it's it. It's good, right? <laughs> so yes, yeah, so this time, instead of joining the Akadama clan, I'm going to join the Kuru family. I made that sound like Kuru. Mm -hmm. It's like Kuro. Kuro. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been told I speak Japanese like an anime character. <laughs> Which is weird because I hey. basically don't watch anime. Don't know what how are these guys talking about? about? Hmm, this is new. To me. Bullying the weak, I think. This is a, what they call a straw boss, talking to his, his guys. A straw boss? Straw boss. I don't know why they call him straw boss, but uh, that's his name. Okay. Well, not his name, but his, like, character model. <laughs> mm -hmm. Archetype? Yeah. Yeah, you meet a couple of them through the game. They are generic black house people. Who are like bigger? It's like the next step up mm -hmm. for the generic guys. It's still yeah. pretty generic. Yeah. So Tsubuachi is here. He and didn't we... steal our money though. Huh? No, not this time. Uh, I like to join the Kuro family. Huh? Yeah. 
Okay. Well, that's really all we need to say. We could tell him more. Yeah, let's ask about Master Teshin. What the oh. heck? Bravest man in Kanto province. I guess Wait, that's all we have to say about that. We're in Kanto. Yes. <laughs> Just double check. Yeah, Way of the Samurai 2 takes place in Johto. <laughs> oh, here's some guys. What's up? <gasps> no way. Oh, I guess they're... Wait, Man. what was that? Hey! Hey! <laughs> How do you do? Please contextualize your gossip for me. Ugh, I can't... I have to get the camera off of this guy's face. Hold on. Who is Pintaro? Long-awaited son. Oh. Oh. Okay. So wait, it sounds like they're talking about a seven-year-old. Are they talking about, like, an infant? Yes. Aww. We, we get to meet Kentaro later. Babies. <laughs> I think you're gonna like this episode. Aww. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Mm. Okay, it's fair. So I can interrupt them rudely. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna go over really well. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is an interesting one. A lot of the dialogue options will appear depending on what you have done before. Most of them are, well, most of the ones that appear like this, "Try me now," are only there if you've done previous stuff that indicates that you want to speed things along. Huh. So this one will actually skip a lot of this dialogue and and go right to your fighting Shirotoko. So if you've done the game a lot, you learn to pick up on the ones that let you speed dialogue trees long. I don't know if it affects your, like, samurai rating index thing at the end, because it's also kind of rude. It is. It's pretty rude. <laughs> but anyway, to okay, test you out, to, fight. to test you out, they bring out Shirotoko. This fight is special. There's some extra rules in addition to the generic ones. For one, you get to uh, hit, hit him at first. I could also taunt him or be a wuss. Yes. I think we're just going to hit him in the face, though. What, what is the opposite of taunting? Naunting. You're really nice to the guy and you're like, oh. Okay. But anyway, uh, another couple things about this fight before I start it. Um, you can't, if you wait here for too long, then Shirotoka will get annoyed and just hit you. <laughs> if you get out of the arena... Maybe I'll just try and show it. Okay. Oh, I... So yeah, he got annoyed. So you saw that. Also, you kind of have to stay in this area, or else Teshin will yell at you. Also, you can throw invisible projectiles. That is... Is he a battle leader? Um, maybe. He has some crazy moves. That is one of his more fears. Yeah. Shirotoko likes to parry, so you don't want to push him too much. On easy, it's not going to be that bad. So. Like that, we saw him parry, and we get to punish him for it. But yeah, if you go too far out of the arena, Madame Murasaki pipes up and is like, Teshin can't see you from over there, and it resets your position. Uh, at least you don't automatically lose. Yeah. Man, yeah. yeah. That's cheap. Madame Murasaki rewards you. The amount of money that you get here depends on Unsa. your health. <laughs> so because I have a sword that has extra health on it, I can get more money out of this fight. Perfect. Yeah, 49 yen is a lot. <laughs> it's a ton! <laughs> These guys are loaded! I should have been with them from the beginning. Oh. Stand here and listen to their gossip a little. Yes, gossip. The sword is pretty good, it turns out. Hmm. 
those wily Akadama clans. Mm. Clansmen, I guess. Uh. Go on. Uh. Okay. Oh. And away they go. Probably to continue that talk, argument, discussion. Mm. I'm take this opportunity to kick their door in a little. That's a. Oh. It's also kind of rude. Hello. Ah, no one noticed. Ah, how do you like the Kuro estate? <laughs> well, it's pretty magnificent, but I expected it to be even more magnificent. I mean, do you see how I'm dressed? <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a uh, neutral. Neutral meaning sucking up. Yeah. Well, it does. They do have wealth. I mean, maybe I can hold on. There, we can open doors rather than. Oh. Okay, so there's a, a there's a fish here. I think we're gonna eat it. That is one helpful fish. Okay, now I'm gonna try and close the door. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> They're all doors. There. Um. There we go, <laughs> yes. Oh, I guess, sorry about this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of silly. It is kind of important, because you go through these same areas in different scenarios, it's important to understand where all the food items are in case you need one. So there's a mushroom over here. If you open up this, there's some other radishes. These are 300 each. You can also take a pot with you in case you need that. I think I'm gonna snatch one. This is part of my payment, right? Pot. You guys don't mind if I... Uh... Here, I'm gonna... Hey! <laughs> what do you want? Who's Keicho? No. Oh. Master Teshin's son. Oh. Well, well, thank you. Enjoy the pot. That. You guys can put that away, right? There are lots of interesting people to talk to. Batman certainly looks interesting. But I guess we're not nah, talking to him. Nah, he, he just wanted to yell at us. But he, he walks. Yeah, he's got the thug walk. <laughs> A lot of characters have the thug walk. I respect the thug walk. <laughs> so Shirotoko wants us to meet at, meet at the shrine, so we're gonna go do that. If you fail to cure, kill Shirotoko, well, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably have a reason to fail at that fight mm. at some point. <laughs> Follow Samurai Eagles. Uh, the very well is skipping this, but uh, I'm gonna ask where we're going. Good. Food. I have a feeling we're not going to eat. Hmm. What, what's, what could there? What other possible reason could there be for going to a restaurant? <laughs> well, I mean, they already fed me that fish. Right. Fed you. Yeah. They, they totally fed it to me. They. <laughs> yeah. The walk. They have a lot of these guys. Hey. Right, so we're gonna leave one guy behind. I, again, could interrupt Shirotoko, but I think he's going to go on just fine without me interrupting. I remember that we left one guy back. Okay. Yeah. They've only been at their table for like 45 minutes. Uh, he, he means the others. Oh. <laughs> you folks just won't listen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, scum. <laughs> Oh, 
I like how much of this game is played not doing anything. I actually do, you know, just, you know? You're not that important. No. Yeah. Mmm. Now it's my turn. So your task here is to do as the generic guy is and just throw things around. There are a couple of important things to do and to not do. But, uh, it seems to be stuck to me a little. Throwing around mechanics. Um, it's okay to aim a kick at things, you know, kind of. Don't kick, kick, the, kick cat. the cat. Don't kick the cat. Okay, I won't kick the cat. Um, careful not to kick your friend, hmm. uh, because then a fight will break out, <laughs> and that'll ruin everything. That would probably destroy the restaurant, though. You have a couple dialogue options here. You can ask Shirotoko. You can tell him that you're gonna go wild, that you can refuse. You can taunt Don, or warn him. You can apologize in advance to Suzu, but, or... Or cackle the night. Yeah, I, I think we're not gonna do any of that. Um, none of that seems terribly necessary. Uh, we're not gonna cackle the night? No. But, well... Maybe. Maybe at a later time. I think this playthrough is going to be kind of straight. And again, I have been a chatty Cathy so far. Oh. After some amount of time, I've never been able to figure out what actually triggers the like conclusion of this. You have shoved objects yeah. uh, 1,000 total pixels? <laughs> I really don't know. Because sometimes it feels like it takes forever, and sometimes it's just set. I don't know. But anyway, after you rough the place up a little... Where's our guy? Yeah. <laughs> Where indeed. So if you did good, then Shirotoku gives you another 50 yen. Jeez. Not bad. Mm. We could seriously pimp our sword. Mm -hmm. I plan on it. Haha. <laughs> So yeah. No problem at all. No one noticed our missing guy. Yeah. They didn't. I guess he's sort of he's gone. I guess he wasn't that important. Yeah. They have a lot of those guys. Yeah. I mean a lot. <laughs> okay. If you enable autosave, then the game will periodically make checkpoints for you at time events, but really at no other time. Well, now that we're here, and Shirotoka, I think, like the scenario thing at the bottom, yeah. Situation! <laughs> this is what you can do. I think before that, though, we're going to mm. pimp my ride. Yeah. Now, I'm going to cut most of this out, I think. So it's just going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of this. So yes, we worked on, first of all, durability, because that's expensive. Wait, did you just say it'll cost 18 yen? Yes. Why? Because this is the fourth tip of durability. If it's at one and you're upgrading it to two, it's like two yen. Huh. And then eight, then 18, then 32, something like that. Hmm. But it maxes out at five. Oh, oh, I understand, I understand. That's, uh... The durability is different than the attack and defense. Right. I thought we were... Right, right, right. Defense. No. Okay. Uh, that's flexibility. Mm. Yeah. It's done. So yeah, now durability is at max. Powers of two. Leaves us with 54... So that's 54 into 6. Not oh, exactly. that's neat, yeah. Cool. We will have the pointiest sword. I plan on trying to even it out. Mm -hmm. It's really relaxing. I, I like these sequences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
And have the dice roll. Or two. Mm. Okay, a two. A little over average. I'm gonna have to count carefully. If I can't pay him, then he'll attack me. And then I'll never be able to use him again. It's number two. Okay. Defense appears by five. Yeah! <laughs> nice! The music is also soothing. I think that helps. I like watching the man work. Watching a, a master craftsman. Mm. Four, three, a little less than average. So four two is more than average, and four three is less than average. Ah, um, like I said before, the increase is random. I think uniform between one to six, and the decrease is random uniform between zero to four. Wait. Should be zero to three, yeah. Hmm. So okay, so we have five left. It's good. Flexibility, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. So one of the six is seven, half is three point five. EV three point five for the increase. Okay. Zero to three is three divided by two is one point five. One point five for the decrease. Four point five minus one point five is three. So yeah. Actually, no. Uh, I thought it was two. I got okay. Too many numbers flying around. <laughs> and you're playing a video game. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's the worst. But no, that, that should be accurate, so 4.5, 1.5, average in increase of 3, so 4 and 2 would actually be a little below average, come to think. Please decrease. Well, just have to trust to the percentages, and also have a huge amount of yen to throw into this. <laughs> it's kind of diabolical that way. Matter of fact, I think I'll split this off into a bonus video, like for people who also like sequences where I just talk over some guy hitting a hammer. Yeah, that's, that's good, right? Yeah, that's, that's, good. that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, two more times. I'm keeping track. I know, I just, well, I also want to, I'm not keeping track of the, like, attack and defense numbers. Uh, there are a lot of numbers. <laughs> Fine. Well, because I only know how to count to nine in sign language, so it's good that that's how many oh, we can use. Oh, hey. I'm glad I'm making use of your skills. Yes. My skills. That's part of my job as the as the director of Triple Skull. Uh -huh. <laughs> Make use of team skills. Aww. Yeah, increase by two, decrease by three. That can happen. Let's leave off with sharpness. Okay. Yeah, and that should be the last one. I think after, or no, this is 10. Or you start shaking them after after 10? I don't know. Increase by 5, decrease by 1. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'll Let's pay do it. it. Now I am poor. Yeah. <laughs> You're poor, so but you have an amazing sword. Yeah, 14 and 10. Exactly. I didn't, I didn't plan it that way. There was no way that I was going to, like get precisely the amount that I wanted from the Shiratoko fight. Taz. Mm -mm. No, not even close. Anyway! If you're just joining us, we're gonna... Oh, hello. Uh, we've met Murasaki, so that's a stupid question. How many samurai families are there? Uh, quite a lot, actually, I think. Hmm. I mean, not that many in this pass, but... Okay. Just in general, out there in the world. Okay, I'll accept. Oh. 
We have a job. <laughs>